And left-hander Daniel Lynch gets ready to contend with. Second start of the season for Lynch, who missed really first couple of months of the season with that left shoulder injury that he suffered toward the tail end of spring training. Oh, got him with the fastball up and in. And Blackman pops right back up. Jerkson Profar batting from the right side. This is to win. He bobbles, he bobbles again, and the Rockies now have two on. That's just the fifth error this year for Bobby Witt Jr. He had really cleaned it up from last year, but in his haste to try to turn two, he just drops this. Not how you want to start your afternoon if you're an infielder. Now Ryan McMahon. And this is a base hit. Charlie got a great read just over Witt's outstretched glove. And it's 1-0 Colorado. I mean, Charlie, the whole way, said, nope, that's over his head. <laughs> yeah. Because if it's not, it's a double play. Runners holding at second and first. Here's Randall Gritchick. Fastball, and that's a base hit. Pro far around third. He'll come home with the Rockies' second run. And both RBI singles, if you're looking at exit velocity, it's uh, not going to light up the radar gun, but getting the ball in play is so important in this game. And Lauris Montero hoping for some good things. He was in a little bit of a skid when he got sent down. And this ball lifted to deep right, and if it's fair, it's going to be a problem. It is a fair ball. Bounces around in that corner. Melendez still chasing it. This is going to score two runs, and Montero is going to have himself a triple. And off the bat, Ellerys wasn't even sure that it was going to be a fair ball. But Melendez was all the way over in right center field, and the Rockies now have a 4 nothing first inning lead. Seventh man in the inning. Brenton Doyle is the hitter. And Doyle hits this ball to right center field. This should get another run home. Waters makes the catch and then falls down, which is kind of symbolic of how this first inning has gone for Kansas City. Doyle behind in the count, gets the job done. Five nothing Colorado. Austin Gomber starts his day. And, uh, Nick Prado leads off. And Prado tees off deep to right. And the comeback begins. Lead off home run, Nick Prado. My, oh my, what a first at bat of the game. Nick Prado hitting foul balls this way and that way, left field, right field, on the ground, and finally he got a pitch, and he ambushed it. I mean, he jumped that pitch, really blasted it. And now Bobby Witt Jr. back of the middle. Trejo smothers it, has no play. And the Royals are returning the Rockies' favor in the first so far. I'm not sure that if he'd have fielded it cleanly, he'd have been able to throw him out. Now Benny Pasquantino facing the lefty Gomber. And this is a double play ball. There's a good feed, and Tovar transitions to Montero, and it's a 4-6-3 twin killing. Two outs, bases clear for Salvador Perez. Served to shallow right. Gritchick comes on strong, can't get it. Little bloop single for Salvi. So Gomber now will face MJ Melendez. Got him. Melendez to end the inning. And the Royals get three hits, but just one run. Bobby Wood Jr. leads off the bottom of the third. Loop to left. And Bobby Wood Jr. is two for two this afternoon. Vinny takes low for a walk, and the Royals have two on. Snap throw to third. Witt is out. That is a great play by McMahon. There's only Max two running off the field, but there's only two outs. Wow. If you're, if you're Bobby Witt, uh, you just this can't happen. Melendez draws the wall. First base open now. Michael Garcia. Garcia serves one into the right center field gap, and it's down. Pasquantino's in to score. Melendez nearly came around third. He does, and scampers back. RBI for Michael Garcia, and it's now 5-2. to two. Hit in the right place, and the wind pushing in from right helped him a little bit there. Good swing, good path to the ball. Rockies with a 5-2 to two lead. Vinny Pasquantino. This is in the air to left field, slicing away from Profar, and he makes a very nice sliding catch. That was great because that ball was at fair territory. Vinny Pascantino was already at second base. Yeah, that was a long trek for Jerickson to go over there. A two-out infield hit will bring Michael Garcia to the plate. 
Swung on and missed. Nicely done by Matt Caracetti. It's back to back walks. Trejo and Tovar in the lineup turns over. Charlie Blackman coming up. This is going to get through the right side. Base hit. Alan Trejo coming home. Overrun by Melendez. It will not be an error because Tovar was headed first to third either way. Charlie Blackman coming through, and the Rockies extend their lead to six to two. Three walks in the inning. The bases are loaded here for Ryan McMahon. Pasquantino comes home, and the Royals get the force. Blackman's caught between third and home, and the Royals might get two. Nobody's covering second, and so a potential inning-ending double play only results in one out. Profar had followed Charlie Blackman to third. Blackman was caught, and once Profar realized, he turned around, but nobody was at second. And now Diaz with the bases loaded and two down. Well, they could have been out of the inning. It's all right, they are here. And the Royals escape nevertheless. One run in for the Rockies. Eighth inning here in Kansas City. Trejo leads it off is now one for three and a walk so a leadoff single for Treo. Jerickson pro far right to Bobby a base hit but no runs for the Rockies in the eighth a two out walk so Garcia in a long at bat keeps the eighth inning going Olivares one out of three it's about ouch that's a true back legger right there. So Drew Waters now up there right handed with runners at first and second. Ooh, nice. Waters shoots the gap. Here comes Garcia in to score. Olivares gets to third. And Drew Waters comes through with an RBI single. The Royals are down by three. The potential tying run comes to the plate in the eighth. Boy, man, that hole is wide open there. We're just waiting for a ball to get in it. And Michael Massey, he's going to hit for Matt Duffy. In the air to Doyle, easy play. And KC has to settle for one. We head to the ninth. Bobby Witt at the plate, which has been on twice. Bobby Witt Jr. finds the hole on the right side. A three-hit game for Bobby Witt Jr. today. And a steal. Love that. Now the Royals down to their last out. Perez, one out of four, a single his first time up. Shallow center might fall, and it does. And Witt's in. A little blooper off the bat of Perez drops in very shallow center field. The Royals are not done yet. MJ Melendez comes to the plate representing the potential tying run. Hard shot at McMahon, and Mack will go the short way to end the ball game to Alan Treo. So the Rockies ride that five run first inning to a six to four victory, and they've now captured the first two of this three game set here in Kansas City. And uh, they used a really strong bullpen to get it done.